Hello everybody. Today we're going to be talking about what I consider to be my first successful video game as a video game developer. So, over the years I've developed many different video games and many of them have been very unsuccessful. I'll put it at that. So, first we're going to look at a game I made with a game maker called Sewer Escape. So, in this game, you can actually jump around as a platformer, and you can press Q to hit enemies, and you can see here there's this spider creature that uh, shot this web at me that makes me slow down. So yeah, you can see that this is a fun little game, and I, I just got bored of making the game at a certain point. It was a lot to do, because as you can see here, I have the web effect, momentum, instance count, there's just a lot to this game. I even had an XP and leveling up system in this game. So it's just quite a lot. In my other game, Dark Crypt, I'll skip to level one. You can see, ex please excuse the programmer's art that I have, but yeah, you have this lantern and you shoot, but that uses up some of your light. And once your light runs out, then that's it, you're done. And this game was pretty special too. As you can tell, I did put some time into it. I even put a lot of detail with, you can see the dead creatures and everything, and the background uh, particle effects and everything. But I never finished this game either. I did quite a few levels for this game, but I just never finished it. And that's a theme that you'll see with me and so many other video game developers. It's that we start these big projects, but we never finish them. So let's take a look at my project that I actually finished, and let's see if we can spot anything different about this one. So I used Unity for this, as opposed to Game Maker for my others. That's not what I want to talk about, because the game engine does not matter too much when it comes to these simple 2D games that I have always enjoyed creating. But yeah, if I play this, I have normal and hard. These are extra game modes that are not in the game right now, and I might never make them. I just have them ready in case I do. But yeah, you just tap the screen when 50% of it is red, as it says here. And if your sort of average percent is off by more than 10%, you lose and there are 10 levels so level one is super easy you can pretty much tell when it's 50 percent of the screen but it gets harder and there are all kinds of new levels and yeah obviously this game is meant for your android or ios device it is actually technically available right now but i'm not going to give the information because well i actually kind of did that by accident the game is released, but I kind of don't want it to be, so it's kind of hidden. But what I was saying before is this game is very different than my other projects I've worked on. And if you haven't already guessed it, it's simply the fact that this game is so much simpler. It's such a small and simple project. And I feel that it's really, really important for your first actually released in your first successful game as I put it be as small as possible make it the smallest video game project that you can think of because so many of us have these great ideas for this MMO or this even platformer or tower defense game and that's great but the amount of things that you need to understand and be able to work on just to get started with one of those projects is actually quite immense and it's better to start out with a small with a small and simple project that you can work on over the course of for example I've worked on this game for maybe four months on and off a few hours a week like nothing that massive but a different type of game such as even tower defense or platformer like I mentioned before is going to take a lot more time and effort and that's great you might be super excited to do that, but there's something called middle development crisis or something like that. And basically what it's all about, or middle mid development hell or something, but that's all about 
how when you first start your project, it's great and it's fun, but as you go on and you plan on adding these features, you realize, oh crap, this is way more work than I thought it was going to be. And this happens to so many people on so many projects. It's happened to me so many times. And that's why I'm going to say again, your first project has to be a small game. And it's important that you release this game too. Even if it's not up to your standards or anything like that, I say make your first small game and release it. Because it's important for you to understand the full development cycle. After working on this game and even putting it on the Google Play Store, I've realized so many new things that I've never even have been aware of before because I've never gotten this far in the development cycle of a video game, which is not good for someone who's been making video games for over five years. So it's really important that you just get your game out there, no matter how small and how stupid you think it is, it's worth it. Because once you've made your simple game, you have some real experience. So please, make a small game, maybe add ads to it, or make it purchasable for a dollar or something like that. But please, just make a small game first so you can prove yourself, so you can prove your worth, in even with other programmers and everything like that. Because there are so many people out there who have started so many projects and never finished one of them. They were great games, heck, some of them might even be almost finished. But if you don't release it, it doesn't matter. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this and I will have more videos about this game that I'm working on right now if you are interested. That will be coming up soon. So thank you for watching and see you next time.